Holy cricket, you're Harry Potter. I'm Hermione Granger. And you are? Um, Ron Weasley. Pleasure. You've got dirt on your nose, by the way. Did you know? Just there. Hermione Granger? Oh, no. OK, relax. Mental, that one. I'm telling you. It's locked! That's it. We're done for. Oh, move over! Alohomora! Alohomora. Standard Book of Spells, Chapter 7. If you two don't mind, I'm going to bed before either of you come up with another clever idea to get us killed. Or worse, expelled. She needs to sort out her priorities. Wingardium Leviosa. Off you go then. Wingardium Leviosa. Look, stop, stop, stop. You're going to take someone's eye out. Besides, you're saying it wrong. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. You do it then if you're so clever. Go on, go on. Wingardium Leviosa. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. <laughs> she's a nightmare, honestly. No wonder she hasn't got any friends. <laughs> I think she heard you. Where's Hermione? Matty could tell her that she wouldn't come out of the girls' bathroom. She said that she'd been in there all afternoon, crying. Swish and flick! Wingardium Leviosa! Oh my goodness! Explain yourselves, both of you! Well, what it is, it's my fault, Professor McGonagall. If Harry and Ron hadn't come and found me, I'd probably be dead. barbaric. That's a wizard's chest. I see you've packed. See you haven't. Change of plans. My parents decided to go to Romania. Good. You can help Harry then. He's going to go and look in the library for information on Nicholas Flamel. We've looked a hundred times. Not in the restricted section. Happy Christmas. I think we've had a bad influence on her. I had you looking in the wrong section. How could I be so stupid? I checked this out weeks ago for a bit of light reading. This is light. You're a little scary sometimes. You know that. Brilliant, but scary. Both of you, this is Devil's Snare. You have to relax. If you don't, it'll only kill you faster. Kill us faster? Oh, now I can relax! Whew! Lucky we didn't panic. Lucky Hermione pays attention in her bollocks. As for me, I'll be a knight. Once I make my move, the Queen will take me. No, you can't! There must be another way! Do you want to stop Snape from getting that stone or not?
take care of Ron. I might have a few last-minute points to award. To Miss Hermione Granger. To Mr. Ronald Weasley. And you must be Miss Granger. Yes, Drake has told me all about you and your parents. Muggles, aren't they? How did you get those? A gift from Draco's father. At least no one on the Gryffindor team had to buy their way in. They got it on pure talent. No one asked your opinion, you filthy little mudblood. She'll pay for that one, Malfoy. Eat slugs! You OK, Ron? Say something! Take him to Hagrid. <laughs> He'll know what to do. Who's Ron trying to curse anyway? Malfoy. He called Hermione. Call me a mudblood. He did not. What's a mudblood? It means dirty blood. Mudblood's a really foul name for someone who is muggle-born. Someone with non-magic parents. Someone like me. That's horrible. <laughs> It's true. Do you think there really is a Chamber of Secrets? Yes. Can you tell? McGonagall's worried all the teachers are. Well, how long will it take to make? A month. There's been another attack. I think. Do you know, I think he's been petrified. The Chamber of Secrets has indeed been opened again. I filled these with a simple sleeping draft. Now, once they're asleep, hide them in the broomstick cupboard and pull out a few of their hairs and put on their uniforms. The last time the Chamber of Secrets was opened, a mudblood died. So it's only a matter of time before one of them is killed this time. As for me, I hope it's Granger. What's the matter with you two? Calm down. Potter, you and I will find Mr. Weasley. There's something that both of you have to see. I warn you, this could be a wee bit of a shock. Hermione. She was found near the library. of yours away from scabbers, or I'll turn it into a tea cozy. It's a cat, Ronald. What do you expect? It's in his nature. A cat? Is that what they told you? Looks more like a pig with hair, if you ask me. That's rich, coming from the owner of that smelly old shoe brush. You know the Egyptians used to worship cats? Yeah, along with a dung beetle. Come on, everywhere else is full. Who do you think that is? Professor R.J. Lupin. Do you know everything? How is it she knows everything? It's on a suitcase, Ronald. Oh. But first, you must broaden your minds. First, you must look beyond. What a load of rubbish. Where did you come from? <coughs> Me. Been here all this time. Ancient rooms on the same time as divination. You have to be in two classes at once. Don't be silly, Ronald. How could anyone be in two classes at once? Da -da -da -da! Anybody tell me what a boggart looks like? No one knows. When'd she get here? Where moves? But, sir, we've just begun learning about red caps and hinky pumps. We're not meant to start nocturnal beasts for weeks. Quiet. When did she come in? Did you see her come in? That is the second time you've spoken out of turn, Miss Granger. Are you incapable of restraining yourself, or do you take pride in being an insufferable know it all? It's meant to be the most haunted building in Britain. 
Did I mention that? <laughs> Twice. Do you want to move a bit closer? Huh? To the Shrieking Shack. Oh, oh actually, I'm, I'm... I'm fine here. Well, well, look who's here. You two shopping for your new dream home? Buckbeak's been sentenced to death. I can't believe they're going to kill Buckbeak. It's just too horrible. It just got worse. Look who's here. Ah, come to see the show. You, you foul, loads of them evil little cockroach. Hermione, no. It's not worth it. That felt good. Not good. Brilliant. Oh, that looks really painful. So painful. They, uh, they might chop it. This is a time turner, Harry. McGonagall gave it to me first term. This is how I've been getting to my lessons all year. You mean we've gone back in time? Yes. How did you get there? I was talking to you there. No, you are there. What's he talking about, Harry? No. Honestly, Ron, how can somebody be in two places at once? When did you get here? Just now, you. Last night. Wake up! Wake up, Ronald! Bloody hell. Honestly, get dressed. And don't go back to sleep. Come on, Ron! Your mother says breakfast's ready. This castle will not only be your home this year, but home to some very special guests as well. Ronald would like me to tell you that Seamus told him that Dean was told by Pavati that Hagrid's looking for you. Is that right? Well, what? Um, please don't want to do this. Please don't ask me to say it again. Hagrid's looking for you. Well, you can tell Ronald. I'm not an owl! I suppose I was a bit distraught. Boys. Stop looking at that, Nigel. Later. I, I told him I'd get him out of his autograph. Not only that, it's ghastly. <laughs> what are you on about? They're not for Ginny. They're for you. <laughs> Dress robes. Dress robes? For what? The Yule Ball is first and foremost a dance. Where am I? Oh, girl. Very well spotted. Come with one of us. It's one thing for a bloke to show up alone. For a girl, it's just sad. I won't be going alone because, believe it or not, someone's asked me. And I said yes. Come on, Harry. Why don't you think she wouldn't tell us who she's coming with? Because we'd take the mickey out of her if she did. Nobody asked her. I would have taken her myself if she wasn't so bloody proud. to go and get drinks. She care to join us? No, would not care to join you and Victor. What's got your wand in a knot? You're fraternising with the enemy. The enemy? 
Who was it wanting his autograph? It's using you. How dare you! Besides, I can take care of myself. I doubt it. He's way too old. What? What? That's what you think? Yeah, that's what I think. You know the solution then, don't you? Go on. Next time there's a ball, pluck up the courage and ask me before somebody else does. And not as a last resort. Well, that's, that's, I mean, that's just completely off the point. They get scary when they get older. Ron, you spoiled everything! You helped? Yeah, a bit. <laughs> Cedric Diggory was murdered by Lord Voldemort. Everything's going to change now, isn't it? Promise you'll write this song. Both of you. I won't. You know I won't. I'm not asking you to write all of it for me. I'll do the introduction, that's all. Hermione, you're honestly the most wonderful person I've ever met. If I'm ever rude to you again... I'll know you've gone back to normal. Do you ever stop eating? Hungry. It's sort of exciting, isn't it? Breaking the rules. Who are you and what have you done with Hermione Granger? Don't worry. I'll go easy on you. Thanks, Ron. I let her do that. Obviously she's feeling sad about Cedric. And therefore confused about liking Harry and guilty about kissing him. Conflicted because I'm just threatening to sack her mum from her job at the ministry and frightened of failing her OWLs because she's so busy worrying about everything else. One person couldn't feel all that. They'd explode. Just because you've got the emotional range of a teaspoon. Why you don't want to wear it, Ronald? Because I look like a bloody idiot, that's why. No more than usual, Ronald. I couldn't just leave him because. because he's my brother. Blimey. Well, half brother, really. Oh, me, that is not polite! I could do something! We talked about this. You do not grab, do you? Drop, eh? Put me down. Now. You're right. Fine. You just stay away from her, all right? How'd you get away? Puking pastels. It wasn't pretty. I told them I was hungry and wanted some sweets. Of course, they told me to bugger off and ate the lot themselves. That was clever, Ron. That's been known to have. We've got one thing that Voldemort doesn't have. Something worth fighting for. Got a bit of toothpaste. <laughs> Will you stop eating? Your best friend is missing. Why are you? Turn around, you lunatic. The most powerful love potion in the world. It's rumored to smell differently to each person according to what attracts them. For example, I smell freshly mown grass and new parchment and spearmint toothpaste. Now then, remember, just because you made the team last year does not guarantee you a spot this year. Is that clear? Say, so, um. I think you could introduce me to your friend Granger. Wouldn't mind uh, getting on a first name basis, know what I mean? I have to admit, I thought I was going to miss that last one. I hope Cormac's not taking it too hard. It's got a bit of a thing for you, Hermione, Cormac. He's vile. 
I'd like to leave. What? You can't be serious. That happens to be my sister. So? What if she looked over here and saw you snogging me? Would you expect her to get up and leave? I expect you'll be bringing McLagan. He's in the slug club, isn't he? Actually, I was going to ask you. Really? He's kissed whomever he likes. I really couldn't care less. Was I under the impression he and I would be attending Slughorn's Christmas party together? Yes. Now, given the circumstances, I've had to make other arrangements. No, I've just escaped. I mean, left Cormac under the mistletoe. Cormac? That's who you invited. I thought it would annoy Ron the most. Love's keen sting. Well, come away, everybody. Mr. Weasley is well tended. About time, don't you think? Please shut up. You say you don't remember anything from that night? Anything at all? There is something. But it can't be. I was completely boggled, wasn't I? Right. Boggled. that brilliant he was. I wouldn't be standing here without him. Really? Why is it so a surprise? Come with me. I'll leave Hermione. You're mad. We wouldn't last two days without her. You're amazing, you are. Always a total surprise.
So what are we going to do with you, eh? Kill us if it was turned around, wouldn't you? If we kill them, they'll know we were here. Ron. I'm lightning. You're the best of spells. Creature doesn't know where the other locket is. Yes, but did you ever see it? Was it in this house? Selfie, my blood! That he doesn't come in the house, blood! Ron. Be a bit gentle. I'm on his arm. <laughs> I know, just do it! <laughs> It's gonna, it's gonna sting a little bit. What happened? I thought we were meant to be going back to Grimmauld Place. We were, we were. Oh. Yeah, I'm still here. Be you to carry on. Don't let me spoil the fun. But don't expect me to be grateful just because now there's another damn thing we've got to find. I thought you knew what you signed up for. Yeah. I thought I did too. I told you everything Dumbledore told me. And in case you haven't noticed, we have found a Horcrux already. Yeah, and we're about as close to getting rid of it as we are to finding the rest of them, aren't we? Ron, please take... Please take the Horcrux. You wouldn't be saying any of this if you hadn't been wearing it all day. Do you know why I listen to that radio every night, dear? To make sure I don't hear Ginny's name. Or Fred. Or George. Or Mark. Oh, you think I'm not listening too? You think I don't know how this feels? Oh, you don't know how it feels! Your parents are dead! You have no family! Go then! Run! And you? Are you coming or are you staying? Fine. I get it. I saw you two the other night. Nothing. Ron. Okay, Ron. Do it. You complete oh, Ronald Weasley. You show up here after weeks and you say hey. I wanted to come back as soon as I left. I just didn't know how to find you. Yeah, how did you find us? With this. Christmas morning, I was sleeping in this little pub, keeping away from some snatchers. And I heard it. It? A voice. Your voice, Hermione. Coming out of it. And what exactly did I say, may I ask? My name. Just my name. Like a whisper. So I took it, clicked it, and this tiny ball of light appeared. And sure enough, it floated toward me, the ball of light. And right to my chest, and straight through me. Right here. It was dark, I had no idea where I was. Just hoped that one of you would show yourself. And you did. How long do you she'll stay mad at me? Keep talking about that little ball of light touching your heart. I shall come round. <laughs> it's true, every word. Don't 
such a... Your boyfriend will get much get worse than that. Put the boys in the cellar. What are we going to do? We can't leave our money alone with her. <laughs> Harry talks in his sleep. Have you noticed? No, of course not. You do it. I can't. Yes, you can. Maybe he's gone to the room with It doesn't show up on the line, does it? You said that last year. That's right, I, I did. Let's go. Place on fire!